श्रवस्रमम ज्येष्ठ राजम ब्रह्मना ब्रह्मनस्पत आना श्रुन्वन्नुति भी सीध साधनम प्रणु देवी सरस्वती भाजे भीर भाजे निवती दीनाम वृत्यावतु गणेशाय नमः सरस्वते नमः श्री गुरुप्यो नमः हरि हियो ओ शांति 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 हे जहि सुमिरत सीधि हो गणनायक करी वर बदना कर हो अनुग्रह सो बुद्धि राशि शुभ कुन सरना पति द 
पी कपि जोरा मर दई नाग भये हूँ अति क्रोधा चले पढ़ाई भालू कपि नाना त्राही त्राही अंगद हनुमाना पाही पाही रघुवीर गोसाई यह खाले खाई काल किम नाई तह देखी कपि सकल परानी दस हूँ चाप सयत समझानी श्री राम जय राम जय जय रामा श्री राम जय राम जय जय रामा श्री राम जय राम जय जय रामा श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम रहे पूरी सर धरनी गगन दिशी विधि सी कहा कपि भागही भयो अति को लाहलु बिकल कपि दल भालु बोल ही आतुरे रघुवीर करुणा सिंधु आरत बंधु जन
पढ़ियो बीरु बिकल उताव दस मुख अतुल बल महिमा रही ब्रह्मदन भवन बीराज जाके एक सिर जिमिराज कनी तेही चह उतावन मूढ़रावन जान नहीं त्रिभुवन धनी
दर्शन सब सुधी पाई सब दी जय रघुपति ही सुनाई नात करे रावनू एक जागा सिद्ध बही नहीं मरी ही अभागा पतव हुनात बेगी भत भंदर कर ही बीरम स आव दश कंदर प्रात हो ते प्रभु सुभत पताई हनुमादारियंगद सब ढाई कौतुक खुदी चढ़े कपी लंका पैते रावण भवन असंका जग्य करत जब ही सो देखा सकल कप ही भाक्रोधा विशेषा रनते नील जबाजी ग्रह आवा इहाई भाक ध्यान लगावा अस कही अंगर मारा लाता चितवन सात स्वरत मनुराता जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम नहीं चित जब करी को पक पी गई दसन लातन मार ही धर के सुनारी निकारी बहिरा तिथि दीन पुकार ही तब उठे क्रोध प्रीतम तसम गही चरण बानर डार बीच कपिन भीरम सकृत मदे कि मन महु हरे पति राम चंद्र जी की जय शरण श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम चलत हो ही मति अशुभ भयंकर बैता ही गिरऊराई सिर पर भयो कला बस कहा हो ना माना कैसी बजाव हो जुद हनी शाना चलित मी कर अनिया पारा बहु गजरत पादती असवारा प्रभु सन मुख धाई कल कैसे समूह अनल कहू जैसे इहा देव तन सुति की दारुण विपति हम ही यही दीन ही अब जनी राम के लहू ए अतिशय दुखी त होती वे दे वचन सुनी प्रभु मुसुकाना उठी रघु वीर सुधारे बाना जता जो दृध भंगे माते सोह ही सुमन भीच 
कहा दास तुलसी जब ही प्रभु सर चाप कर फेरन लगे सिंधु बुधार दगमगे पति राम चंद्र जी की जय शरणम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम यही भी जानी साचर आनी कम सम सात आई अति घानी देखी चले सन मुख कभी बाता प्रलय काल के जनु घन गाता बहु कृपांतर वारी चम कही जनु दह दिसी दामिनी दम मन कही गजरत तुर गचिकार कतोरा कर जही मन हु बाल हक गोरा कपिल गोर विपुल नभ जाई मन हो इंद्र धनु सुहाई उथई धूरी मान हु जलाधर बन बुंदा भय वृष्टि पारा दुहम बत करही पहारा वज्र पात जनु बारही बारा रघुपति को पीबान जरी लाई गायल भाई निशी चर समुदाई लागत बान भीर चिखराही गुरमी गुरमी जहाँ तह मही पर ही श्राव ही शैल जनु निर्जर भारी सोनित सारी कदार भय कारी श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम ओ श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम कादर भयंकर रुधिर सरित चली परम अपवानी दौ कुल दल रथ रेत चक्र अभरत बही बहती भयवानी जल जम त्र गज पर चार तुरग कर विवीर वाहन को गानी 
सर शक्ति तोमर सर्प चाप तरंग चर्म कमत कानी राम बल धर पित भाई संग्राम अंगानी सुबत सो वही राम सर निकराही हाई रावण हृदय विचार भा निशिचर संघारा हो रामा निशिचर संघारा मैं अकेल कपि भालू बहू माया करू अपार सिया पति राम चंद्र जी की जय शरणम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम देवन प्रभु ही पया दे देखा 
रूप जाऊर अति जो भाभी सी जा सुरपति ने जर तू तुरत पतावा हर्ष सहित मात ले आवा तेज पुंजरत दिव्यनुपा हर्षि चढ़े कौशल पुरभूपा चंचल तुर गमनो हर चारी अजर अमर मन समति कारी रथारूढ़ रघुना तही देखी दाई कपी बल पाई विशेषी सही न जाई कपिन कई मारी तब रावन माया विसतारी सो माया रघु वीर ही बंसी लक्ष्मण कपिन सो मानी संजी देखी कपिन साचर आनी अनज सहित बहु कौशल धानी श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम हो श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम बहु राम लक्ष्मण देखी मर कत भालु मन अति अपधरे जनु चित्र लिखित समेत लक्ष्मण जहाँ सोता चित वही करे निज से न चकित बिलो की हसी सर चाप सजी कौशल धनी माया हरि हरि निमि समहु हरे श्री सकल मर कत अनी जुदा देख सकल श्रमित भाई अति भीर सिया पति राम चंद्र जी की जय शरण श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम रघुनाथ चलावा विप्रचरण पंकज सिरुनावा तबलंग केश क्रोधा उड़े चावा गर जत तर जत सन मुख रावा जीते हो जे भत संजुग माही सुनु तपस में तीन समनाही रावण नाम जगत जसु जाना लोक पर जाके भंधी खाना कर दू सन भी रार तुम्हारा पारे हो भ्यार ईव भाली विचार निशर कर सुभद संघारे हो कुंभकरण गन नारी रही मारे हो आज भयरु सबुल मनी बाही जोरन भूप भाजी नहीं चाही आज करू कलु काल हवाले पर हो कति रावण के पाले सुनि दूर वचन काल बस जाना बिहसी वचन कहा कृपा निधाना 
सत्य सत्य सब तब प्रभु ताई जल पसी जनी देखो मनु साई श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम ओ श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम जानी जल पान कर सूज सुना सही नीति सुनही कर ही क्षमा संसार महो पुरुष त्रिभिद पाता रसाल पन सा समा एक सुमन प्रद एक सुमन पल एक पल ई ई केवल लगाही एक काही कह ही कर ही अपर एक कर ही कहत न भाग ही राम वचन सुनी बिहास मोहि सिखावत ज्ञान हो राम मोहि सिखावत ज्ञान बैरु करत नहीं तब धरे अब लागे प्रिय प्राण सिया पति राम चंद्र जी की जय शरणम पति महादेव जी की जय शरणम पवन सुत हनुमान जी की जय शरणम सिया पति राम चंद्र जी की जय शरणम प्रभु जी प्रभु जी प्रभु जी सुख का सागर है प्रभु जी प्रभु जी प्रभु जी सुख का सागर है सुख का सागर है सुख का सागर है सुख का सागर तूफा में जो कश्ती है वो भी जो तगर भी है माजे के बन में अब तो ईश्वर है ईश्वर है दो पे को पार लगाता दो पे को पार लगाता पूरन परमात्मा है सुख करता दुख हरता पापन परमात्मा है प्रभु जी प्रभु जी प्रभु जी सुख का सागर है जीवन एक उलझन है बातों में न बस जाना जिस राह में राह मिले उ 
उस राह में बस जाना एक बार जो शरण में आता एक बार जो शरण में आता वो भूलना आत्मा है सुख करता दुख हरता पापन परमात्मा है प्रभु जी प्रभु जी प्रभु जी सुख का सागर है सुख का सागर है सुख का सागर है सुख का सागर है जन्म जन्म का पल पागे शिर के साई बाबा तेरी दुहाई बाबा तेरी शरण हम आ गए ओ साई हमको जन्म जन्म का पल पागे ना कोई ऊंचा ना कोई नीचा ना कोई ऊंचा ना कोई नीचा तेरे इस दर पाद में जो भी आए सब सुख पाए तेरे निर्मल प्यार में 
हे मन मोहत मूरत वाले हे मन मोहत मूरत वाले तुम सबसे हो निराला दीन दयालो हम जा गए हो साई हमको जन्म जन्म का पल पाग हो साई हमको जन्म जन्म का पल पाग हो साई हमको जन्म जन्म का पल पाग
गजाननम भूत गणाति से विदम कपित जंबु फलसार भक्षणम उमासुतम शोक विनाश कारनम नमामि विघ्नेश्वर पाद पंकजम या कुंदेन्द तुषार हार धवला या शुभ वस्त्रावृता या वीना वरदंद मंदित करा या श्वेत पद्मासना या ब्रह्माच्युत शंकर प्रभृति भी देवे सदावंदिता सामान्पात सरस्वती भगवती सामान्पात सरस्वती भगवती निशेष जाग्या पहा गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु हो गुरु देवो महेश्वरा है गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः लोका हिरामम रनरंग धीरम Rājīvane tram Radhuvam shanātham Kārunya rūpam Karunā karam tam Shri Rāmachandram Sharanam Prapadye Manojavam Ma Hruta Thulya Vegam Jite Indriyam Dhimatam Varishtham Patatma Jam Ma Narayutha Mokhyam Shri Ram Dutham Shirsa Nama Bolo Ram 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 Sita Ram 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 Bolo Ram Ram Sita Ram 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 Raja Ram सुदर्शन अजर बिहारी श्रीराम जयराम जयराम श्रीराम जयराम जयराम रघुकुल रीति से दाचली आई प्राण जाए बरु 
बचन न जाय पद चल जाता श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम यही सन हठी करी हाउ पहचानी साधु ते हनुमंता बिनो हरि कृपा मिल ही नहीं संता श्री राम जय लोचन मोर पंख कर ले था श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम बिनु पद चल सु नई बिन काना कर बिन करम कर सवस मानते प्राणी श्री राम जय राम जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम परे भाग मानुषतन पावा सुर दुर्लभ सब ग्रंथ निगावा भवनिधि कर ही न कोई जो भी रंची संग कर सम हो श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम 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 सीता राम 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 बोलो Satsang tonight, albeit a little late. Man proposes and God disposes. That is how it works. <coughs> if you are joining us for the first time in this yatra, we are seeing the Ram Charitamanas, ten dohas per day. Lagbhag. Lagbhag mani? Approximately. Ten dohas per day. And <coughs> we are going from temple to temple everywhere. And we have volunteers who come and sing ten dohas, which is approximately 70 or 80 verses. And then 
we look at those verses. Sometimes we fall behind because some portions require more time. <coughs> Last night when we left it in Felicity, Ravan, Ravan's son and the apple of his eye, Meghanad, got eradicated. And Hanumanji picked him up and left him at the gates of Lanka. And we end the, ended the story there last night. Now, <coughs> Ravan will discover tonight that his son has died. Tulsidha she describes from last night in the Doha. called out Lakshmana, Rama, Ramanuja. See how smart also. <laughs> Meghna did not say Lakshmana. Huh? He said Ramanuja. Ramanuja is another name for Lakshmana. Anuj means younger brother. That is the meaning of Anuj. Rama Anuj is Ramanuj. So, in calling him Ramanuj instead of Lakshmana, he gets to say Rama's name twice before he dies. Ramanuj kaha, Rama kaha, asakahi charisi pran. He dropped his, his body like this. Then, Tanya Tanya Tava Janani, Hanumanji and Angad, they shouted out, Tanya, blessed is his mother to bring a son in the world. Like, uh, like uh, Meghanath, such that at the end of his life he calls out the name of Ram. All scriptures tell we are supposed to chant Ram at the end of our life, like that. Vinuprayasa Hanuman Uthayo Lanka Dwar Rakhi Puni Ayo. Hanumanji effortlessly lifted Meghanath and kept him at the gates of Lanka. This is Tulsidashi's description there. Now, Hanumanji came back to Bhagwan Ram. No. Ravan. Discovering that his son had died. Just a few lines down. All the monkeys shouted out. Jaya Anant. Jaya Jagadathara. To Lakshman for having slain him. But Ravan discovered. Sutabada Suna the Sun and Java he Sri Rama Jaya 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 Rama Muruchet Paya Opera Oma he Tava he Sri Rama Jaya Jaya Rama Mando the Ri Rudan Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Ramachandra ki jai. Sutabada Suna, hearing that his son had died, the Sanan Javahi, when he heard, when Ravan heard, Murachita bhai wo. He swooned, he became unconscious. This is after number 76, eh? just a few lines down. 76, feel like everybody is still looking for the Rama. From last night, we didn't get to finish. Bhayo pare mahita bhai, he fell down on the earth, Ravan. Fell down like that. Then, mandodari rudana karabhari urtarana bahu bhanti pukari. Mandodari also beating her chest and wept profusely for this young son of theirs who was such a great hero and who in the last breath also called out the name of Rama twice. Tabadasakanta vidha vidhi samujhai sabanari. Well, Tulsidas ji doesn't say that Ravan came to, but when Ravan came to, he gave, gave big lecture to everybody. Ravan gave a big lecture to everybody. Eh? What? Nasvara Rupa Jagat Sabha Dekhav Hridaya Vichar. All of you, please remember that the whole world is transient, ephemeral, passing. Ravan is giving a discourse now on, on Upanishad. That the world, <laughs> the world is temporary. Hmm. Tulsi Dachi makes a very nice comment after Ravan gives Upanishad discourse. Tulsi Dachi's comment. Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Chandra ki jai, tina ikyana upadesa ravan, Tulsi Daji says. Ravan gave upadesh, me discourse. On what? Gyan. He gave discourse on gyan. Then, apuna mand katha subha pavan. But Ravan's own story is evil. Or impure, why his own story is like that, but his um, discourse is very pure. I mean, whatever discourse he gave is super uh, auspicious and pure. But his own, and in regard to that, now the comment is given by Tulsi Dash. There are many people in the world, many people in the world who like to give. Nice discourse to others, but J Acharajahi te nara naghanere. But very few of those people who give the nice discourse follow them in any case. It's good at giving the nice discourse, but not following. Good at teaching scriptures, but not following. That's what it means. What he means. That is 
quite common according to Tulsi Das Ji. Huh? So Ravan gave nice discourse to everybody. If, if he's giving gyan, uh, listen to his word, Nashwara Rupa Jagata Sabha Dekha Hrida Vichar. You look into your heart and realize that everything in the world is transient and ephemeral and passing. Then when Meghnath died, why are you soon? Huh? Why are you soon? And when Kumbhakaran had died, he cried and cried. Remember, I was telling you yesterday, or most of you were not there yesterday. But give nice discourse, but really don't follow that thing. You should not be crying and swooning like that, you see? Anyway, now, Ravan himself. Nisa Sirani, Bhayau Bhinusara. Next morning, what happened? In the evening, they left the body at his gate. Next morning now, Lage, the sun rose and everything. Lage bhaluka pichari hu dwara, the monkeys now. Again, every morning on the dot, the monkeys are attacking from the four sides. Four gates of Lanka. Well, that happened again. Now, Subhata Bola, the son and Bola, Ravan called his remaining great, those uh, heroes who were left in his army, called Ranasan Mukaja Karamana Dola. Now, you all instructed them and all. You all get on the, um, on the battlefield again and strike these monkeys. So, abahi baru jau parai sanjuta bimukhabhaye nabhalai. You get on the, in your respective uh, arrays and don't turn back. Nijabuja balame bayaru. Bayaru, but how today my own strength I am going to display. Dehu Uttara Jo Ripuchari Awa. I am going to display my strength against those people who invaded our country. Those who invaded and came into our country like that. Ravan did not think about the time when he himself had invaded and took the country from Kuber. He himself invaded and took it from Kuber. But he's now, th oh, those who came into the country now. Actually, that's going on everywhere in the world. Eh? See, people who are, living in the, who are living in this part of the world, they came and invaded and took this part of the world from who? The Amerindians. Isn't it? And now if somebody comes to invade, oh, how dare you invade our country? But you invaded in the first place. How you come here, came here? That's like recently, big thing was going on in the West and in America and all about uh, immigrants. immigrants. And who talking about it? Immigrants only. Oh, we are all immigrants. We should not be talking about immigrants. Trinidad is the best. Huh? We don't talk about immigrants. We open the border and let them come. <laughs> we are the best actually. Let them come. What to do? But you were immigrants in the first place. But anyway, Ravan is telling now, uh, those people who invaded our country, I'm going to. Those enemies who came in. Now, he readies himself to go on the battlefield. And Tulsidashi describes. Shri Ram Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Shri Ram Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Sagun Amit Ho Nite Ki Kala Shri Ram Jaya Ram Jaya Jaya Rama Ganayi Na Bujbal Garb Bisala Shri Ram Jaya Ram Jaya Jaya Rama Ravan comes out with a fury now and says, today I am going to wreak havoc on that side. And he comes out telling. But he is a nija boja bala me bayaru barhava. I am going to show the enemies, teach the enemies a lesson with the power of my arms. And nija boja, eh? the power of my arms. Then 
If you line down to Siddhaji, tells this chapai which we just chanted. What is that? Asa guna amita ho te hikala. That time, there were evil presentiments, bad omens from every side. Everything started looking dismal and gloomy and dreary and dark. And from all sides. You know in Trinidad we say, here in this Ramayana, throughout the Ramayana, that is not a good sign. Huh? Something bad going to happen. Long ago, a lot of this used to be there, especially when dog crying in the daytime. Hmm? Not a good sign. So now here, all sorts of bad signs. Let's just see that she writes. All sorts of bad signs. And see the next line. Ganai Nabujabalagarbavisala. But Ravan paid no heed to any bad sign. Why? Because he was too busy, intoxicated with the power of his arms. No, no. You may not believe in bad signs and this and that and all that kind of thing, right? But this type of thing happens very regular or regularly among human beings. Eh? Because when we get intoxicated with a certain guna or a certain acquisition which we have, quality or acquisition which we have, when we get intoxicated with, like, with that, then we become blind to reality. That is what it means. Blind to reality. Well, the world will have all type, all types, and that is Ravan now, all the bad signs showing right in front of his face, but he could not see any of them. Mm. So Siddhaji explained now in number 78, see this. He continues there. Sampati Saguna Suva Sapane Human Bishram Rama Sapane Human Bishram Buddha Troharat Mohavasa Rama Bimukhrati Kamasiya strong comments are there, even prior to this, but now he tells, ending to Siddhaji's commentary, eh? and tahi ki sampati saguna subha, sapanehu mana bishram, bhuta droharata mohavasa rama vimukarati kam, that the person who is rama vimuk, this word, this phrase, to Siddhaji likes, because The person, the, the jiva in the world, jiva means you and I, eh? please pay attention to those technical words and, and use them instead of use the English words which you use. Eh? The English word which all of you know is soul. Terrible word. Because it doesn't capture any of the, the real essence of what the Vedas and the Gita and Ramayana and everything they are teaching. So use the word jiva. What is the meaning of the word jiva? Jiva means the one who is dwelling inside this body, who drops this body and goes and takes another body, and then goes there and takes another body. He drops, keeps dropping body all the time. That one, he goes with all his traits and characteristics and qualities and all of that. Now, if you use the word soul, we really don't know what that means. But Jiva word means the one who goes with all of his qualities and all his tendencies, inclinations, beliefs, all his doubt, weaknesses, strengths, everything he goes with that. Uh, if whatever we have here, now I go with all of that. And I just go in, in, in the other body. Uh, he's called as a jiva. So, any jiva who has turned Ram Bimuk, 
turn averse to Ram. That jiva has to be the most deluded being in the universe. Why? The power of Ram, you could turn Ram Bhimuk. If you are if you're not supplied with the power, you will not be able to turn also. You, and, you turn, and you use the power of Ram to turn against Ram. What a thing. That's like in Trinidad, there's, a, there's to be a saying long ago. I don't know if people still say that. But they say, they eat me and drink me and beat me. Have you heard that? They take my own food and drink, eat and then drink, and then they got strength from my food and then beat me. So this is exactly a person who turns averse to Rama. He says, such a person, Sapanehu Manabe, uh, is asking, Tahi ki sampati saguna suba, Sapanehu Manabishram, the person who has turn, turned uh, averse to Ram, and he, well, if he turned averse to Ram, that means the mind has turned somewhere to some other thing, because the mind cannot stay without something. This is another thing. The mind cannot stay without alighting on something. So if I have turned against Ram, that means I have turned against this, towards this world. What is, what is there in the world? Sampati means wealth in the world. Saguna, all good, uh, nice things in the world. And uh, here also good omens. And suba, all um, things in the world. I have turned to all of those auspicious means what people consider auspicious. Like for example, all of us consider a lot of wealth as good, isn't it? We consider uh, high position as good. We consider so many things as good. So that means I'm considering so many things in this world as good and I've forgotten Ram. He says such a person cannot find peace because I am not thinking that Ram is the best, I am thinking this thing is the best. And all of us are guilty of this. Eh? God is not our God. Power is our God. Money is our God. Name is our God. Land is our God. House is our God. That is our God. Not God. So he says, that person will never have peace in this world. But it, this, all of this is referring to Ravan. Bhuta droha ratha moha vasa. Overwhelmed by moha. And overwhelmed by uh, all the worldly things, totally against all human beings, all things in the world Ravan was against. Bhuta Droharata. He was enemy of every creature, including the rishis. Ravan was enemy of the rishis also. Ratikam means all the time engage only in enjoying the pleasures of this world. That is Ravan. For such a person who is only engaged in pleasures of this world means he has turned against Ram. Sapanehu manabishram. Taki means he can ever have. Like that question is there. Huh? Now Ravan comes out on the battlefield. Kai dasanana sunahu subhatta he tells. This is just before number 79, 79. His last instructions now to his warriors. Kahi dasanan sunahu subhatta Oh. 
राम जय Chandra ki jai kao da sanan sunau subhatta Listen all you great heroes now on my side here Let me tell you Mardau balu you kill all of these kapinha Bears and monkeys All their groups you kill all of them Hau maari hau bhoop dwao bhai But those two princes don't touch them Why? Asakahi sanmuka phauja Phauja regai means I will kill them that is called delusion. Just now, moha basa in this doha. Moha basa means? Moha is not a big word in Ramayana, scriptures, Upanishad, Gita, everywhere. Moha word. Please pay attention. This is Sanskrit word. Not moha in Hindi. Moha in Sanskrit. Moha means delusion. Delusion means seeing things upside down. So the thing is one way, but to see, think, or understand opposite or other than that they call as moha and this is like for example and all of us are born with moha eh? we are born with moha hmm? born with moha means I will never die because the jiva is inside this body goes from body to body the jiva is uh, eternal Ishwara amsa jiva avinashi eternal but every one of us think that we will, will die. So that is opposite. If you never die, but you think that you will die. That is called moha. There is a rope there, but you are seeing a snake. But there is no snake. But you are seeing a snake, Swamiji. In Vedanta, seeing is not believing. You are seeing. Every day you see people die, right? But the truth is, we never die. So seeing is not believing. For example, in the daytime, when you look up in the sky, you see stars? We don't, in daytime, you don't see any stars. Unless... But daytime when you look up like that, no stars. So what? There are no stars in the sky. Because I don't see. But seeing is not believing. All the stars are very much there. They don't go anywhere. Day and night, they're right there. Hmm. So now, when we look at things and we see it upside down, other than what it is, or any such thing, that is called a moha, delusion. So now what is delusion? Ravan tells what? All you Rakshasas, you go and kill all these monkeys and bears and eat them. You get food. Mm. Today is a feast. Even though many people have told him, when the one monkey had come to Lanka and burned down the Lanka, what happened? Why didn't he eat him? You didn't hungry that time? So now go kill them and eat all of them. The first thing. Second thing. You leave the two brothers. I will kill them. Rama Lakshmana. Really? He is not going to kill Rama Lakshmana. He is going to be killed by Rama Lakshmana. Isn't it? That is upside down or not? But he is seeing everything ulta. That is called moha. Just, that's why the doha just now which we chanted previously. Moha basa. Moha basa means totally overwhelmed by moha. Hmm? So the jiva is born like this. The purpose of all of this sadhana and study, it's called adhyayana. So adhyaya, adhyayana and all of these studies and all of the why we study scripture and go to satsang and all, is to learn to see things right side up. And everybody tried to make Ravan see things right side up, but it didn't happen. 
So Mohabasa Rawan comes on the battlefield. No, very interesting things ha thing happens here now. Huh? After number 79. Vibhishana, see Rawan comes out there so nicely on the battlefield. And Vibhishana sees Rama. Ravana comes with his big chariot, so well equipped, so well uh, armored with heavy artillery and all sorts of uh, Ravan comes out there. And, and, uh, and his Rakshasa is also um, playing all their bugles and drums and, and Ravan is coming out like a re real, you know, big time gunda. Where, and you know, big time, I'm t telling, correcting, big time gunda. See, always these gundas and all, they are always one step ahead of the law. Correct or not? They are always one step ahead of the law. The law lagging behind. Them, them gunda and them going with racehorse in front and the law coming on a donkey. Yeah. And only when it's being done now, when the crime is finished, then the donkey reach. And then, now them fellas gone. Right? Because donkey is slow. And we could never keep up with them. They always one step ahead like that. So now here, Ravan came out on that battlefield looking not one step ahead, Many steps ahead of Rama. See Vibhishan's concern. This is after 79. Ravan Rathi Birat Raghubira Shri Ram Jaya 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 Rama Dekhi Vibhishan Bhaya Upadira Adhikapriti man bhaasan deha Shri Ram Jaya Ram Jaya Jaya Rama Bandhi Charan ka sahit saneha Shri Ram Jaya Ram Jaya Jaya Rama Nath Narath Tulsidas' description. Ravan Rathi. Ravan Rathi means Ravan came out with a nice big chariot. Rathi. One who possesses a chariot is called Rathi. Then, Biratha Raghubira and Rama, no chariot. Dekhi Vibhishan Bhaiyo Dhira. Vibhishan, seeing this now, he became very much concerned, perturbed, disturbed. Adhika Preeti Manabhasan Deha. With doubt in his mind now, seeing Ravan sitting on this royal grand chariot there and Rama on the ground bare feet. Like this. Bandi Charana Sahita Saniha with love. Vibhishan asked Bhagwan Ram, Nath, Narat, you don't have any chariot, Prabhu? Nahitana Padatrana, on your body no protection, your feet bare feet. 
How are you going to conquer his great hero? Which, who is so well armored and who has such a nice chariot and all of that. Hmm? And Bhagwan's reply is the best. <coughs> I'll tell you something about this. It is called Vibhishana Gita. Vibhishana Gita. Now Vibhishana has asked a question to Rama. And now Rama is going to answer. Hmm? It's called Vibhishana Gita. And there, Arjuna is asking question to Bhagwan, and Bhagwan answers. They call Bhagavad Gita. Huh? This is called Vibhishana Gita because the, the, the question was posed by Vibhishan. But the, the Vakta, the speaker, is still Bhagwan Ram. Same Bhagwan. Who incarnated as Bhagwan Krishna, like that. Huh? So the, the Gita here is just named after the Vakta. Um, the, 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 the one who asked the question, Vibhishan. Yeah? That is the only difference, right? Vibhishan asked the question, so the Gita is named after him. So now, the words of wisdom that is going to emanate from the mouth of Bhagwan is what is of concern to us. There are the words of wisdom in Bhagavad Gita from Bhagwan, and here are the words of wisdom from Bhagwan Ram in Vibhishan Gita. So it's the same Bhagwan. Okay. Sunahu Sakha, first thing Bhagwan tells. Listen, my dear friend. Kaha Kripani Thana, Bhagwan says. Jehi Jaya Hoi So Syandana Ana. The chariot by which we win, by which we become victorious, that is different. In other words, Ravan has this chariot with horses and everything here. And you're, you're thinking, because Ravan has this chariot, and I have none, it is going to be difficult to conquer this, Ravan. But the chariot by which we win, the chariot by which we become victorious, that is a different chariot. And I'm going to tell you that chariot now. And then, then Bhagwan describes this. This is a very, very famous portion of Ramayana, and it comes smack in the Lanka Kant itself. Now see, interesting thing. This is in the middle of the war. It's in a battlefield, isn't it? The Bhagavad Gita is all in the middle of the battlefield, isn't it? So it is very, very similar, two of them. And I'll tell you one uh, more thing, or maybe a few more things. Let me see how many things I remember. <coughs> Whatever is given here, which, which is Gita which Bhagwan gives to Vibhishan is tiny like this. I can count the verses. Two, four, six, seven. Seven verses, seven lines only. Hmm? And Bhagavad Gita, 700 lines, verses. So seven verses, and there's seven hundred. Whatever is there in that 700 verses is given here in seven verses in sutra form. Sutra. I'll show you just now. You'll see example of that. We'll see. Now, sutra is what? Mm. Sutra in Sanskrit means a thread. That is the literal meaning of sutra. Huh? So what is a thread, you know? It looks like a thin thing like this. Right? But if you take this thread, a little piece like this, and you do like this, you start unraveling, you will see countless little fibers that make up that thread. Correct or not? Countless little fibers. You put under a microscope, you will see. So it's all those minute fibers, they go into making this thread. So Brahma Sutras are there. Narad Bhakti Sutras are there. So different types of sutras are there that we study. So they are little, little, thin little lines, you know, so just seven verses. So it's a small portion, just like a thread, very thin, small. But these small little lines, if we take our time and we unravel, those lines are packed. So if you unravel the seven lines here, they actually will give the whole Bhagavad Gita. 
That is the idea. Hmm? So whatever is in um, what we call sankshipt form, roop here, brief, succinct form here, is in vistar roop there. Or you, other way, whatever is in vistar roop there is in sankshipt form here. This is the, the comparison between the two. Eh? Now, what Bhagavan tells? That the chariot by which one becomes victorious is a different type of chariot. Not the chariot that Ravan is riding over there. Huh? And now he starts. Sauraj Dheeraj Tehirat Chakha Satya Seel Dhrid Dvaja Pataka Shri Ram Jaya Ram Jaya Jaya Ram Shri Ram Jaya Ram Jaya Jaya Ram Sauraj Dheeraj Tehirat Chakha Satya Seel Dhrid Vaja Pataka Shri Ram Jaya Ram Jaya Jaya Rama Shri Ram Jaya Ram Jaya Jaya Rama Bala Vivek Dama Parahit Ghore Chama Kripasam Taraju Jore Every chariot must have at least two wheels, correct? Chaka. Chaka means a wheel. So he says the two wheels of this chariot, the chariot by which one gains victory, by which one becomes victorious, that is the chariot Bhagwan is going to describe. Not Ravan's chariot. Ravan's chariot is the model. In Ravan's chariot, there are two wheels. He says, the chariot by which one becomes victorious, is not that chariot, but the chariot that has for its two wheels, Sauraj and Dhiraj. Sauraj means Shurta. Shurta means Virta. Virta means heroism, bravery, like that. Brave and heroic. If I'm going to have a chariot in my life that is going to bring victory to me, I must have first this quality. What they call? Bravery. Hmm? Sauraj. Then dhiraj. Dhiraj means buddhi sthirata, manasthirata, antakkarana sthirata. That means the uh, firmness, resoluteness, the steadiness of the mind. That is called as dhiraj. So now, my chariot must first have these two things. Now you see, the whole chariot has its foundation on the wheels, isn't it? The whole chariot is resting on the wheels. So the wheels is the adhar, the support. Adhishthan for the whole chariot. And second thing is, the wheels also take the 
person to his destination. It moves, it, the wheel is, because of the wheel, it moves forward. When no wheels are there. So its destination, its goal is brought only by the wheels, otherwise we cannot reach. That is why when you get a flat on the highway, when you get a flat tire, what? You still drive to? You can't drive, no? Destination aborted. We'll, uh, one day I see, I was driving somewhere and I saw a fellow, he wheel fly out and pass him. The back wheel flew out and pass him going down the road. Like that. Now what he go do? Can't do nothing. He just have to wait you know, to solve that problem before he could move. See, destination you can't reach. So without these two things, sauraj dhiraj, without bravery, daring, without um, the mind that is that has heroism, one cannot reach that destination. In other words, only those who are daring and brave, and that's why we have such things as dhanavir. That's why we have Jnana Veer, Vairagya Veer. A person must be a Veer, a hero, a daring individual to be able to give and drop and leave, renounce like that. Like Vairagya Veer or Dan Veer to give or Vidya Veer to study this most esoteric knowledge. The knowledge which is so subtle. I am going to understand this thing. I will make sure that I understand this thing. That's only a brave person can do. Nahi jnani, uh, what is that? Um, the, this knowledge is not meant for the weak. Knowledge is not meant for the weak, the Upanishad says. The phrase just slipped my mind. Balahine na nalabhya. The Upanishad says very clearly. Hmm. Not obtained by one who does not have that strength of mind, that power, bravery. Huh? So, Sauraj, Dhiraj. These are the two wheels that will take us forward. These are the two wheels of the chariot that will bring victory to us. And when the victory it is victory of life, eh? Bhagavan's teaching. Now, I told you, this is Dain Bhagavad Gita or not? Dain Bhagavad Gita. You, you just not have you know, not seen it. But it's there very much in Bhagavad Gita. Those who are students of Bhagavad Gita should pay attention to this thing now. Look here. In the beginning of Bhagavad Gita, Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Shri Krishna Sharanam Asmagama Partha Naitar Vayupa Pajyate Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama Khudram Hridaya Dorbalyam Tyakto Tishtha Parantapa Shri 
Klaibhyamma, actually, we, we, I told you, we don't have the proper ragas for these, verse, for these verses. Bhagwan is shouting at Arjuna. Uh, my dear, what is the matter with you? Klaibhyamma smagama partha, nai tattvayu papadyate. It does not behove you. Drop this faint-heartedness. Kudram hridaya daurabalyam, tetotishta parantapa. You drop it and you rise. Like that. Hmm. What is Bhagwan trying to do there? Bhagwan is trying to remove from Arjuna's heart this weakness and cowardice and that fear and all such things which entered him and started to give. Arjuna got fever on the battlefield. Hmm. So I told you from there, when Bhagwan starts in the second chapter, all the way to verse number 54. So many verses. The, all that is this one word, Sauraj. So this is Sutra. This is the one. And when you unravel this one word, Sauraj, you get all those 54 verses. But why is only trying to do one thing? To remove the faint heart in this of Arjuna in that beginning portion. And then the next word, after that, what he's doing? Sthita Pragna Lakshana. He gives. Sita Pragna Lakshana means there he tells all the Lakshanas of one whose mind is Sthita. Sthira. Sthita. One's mind is steady, resolute, firm, whose mind is fixed, whose mind is well settled. That is the next word, Dhiraj. From there to the end of the chapter. So whatever is in the Sutra here in one little word is there given in Vistar Rup in Bhagavad Gita. So here, the first two things is the teaching of the whole second chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Hmm? So now, if I am going to reach my destiny, you look like we reach. <laughs> oh, and some minutes gone so fast. If I am going to reach my destiny, the chariot of my life should have these two things. Huh? Sauraj and Dhiraj means uh, bravery and daring and inner strength like that. And the other one, the steadiness of the mind. And these are very real things in a sadhak's life. Eh? Sadhaks don't have these. I tell you how steadiness of mind. See, one day I do Japa. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. I get up real nice and early and then I take my bath and I sit down with my mala and things. And I order a nice Rudraksha mala also for that. Online. Amazon.com. And one day, two days I do nicely and then, and then third day. And the third day now it so happened that the neighbor get up before me and they put up coffee. And that smell come through my window. Or they removed it. They lift the, the man on roadside doubles. That time, instead of doubling up your japa, <laughs> you're going to the double stand, isn't it? The steadiness of mind is not there. Dhiraj is not there. The mind, I told you, dhulmul. Dhulmul means shaky. One day do. One day, not do. Steadiness is not there, you see. So, th these qualities are not there. Chariot have no wheels. That chariot is going to go anywhere. That jiva is not going anywhere. That is the idea. Eh? Now, what is the rest of the chariot? The chariot has two flags. It has four horses. Three reins to hold you. All these things he describes. But we'll see tomorrow. But we got the important part. We got the two wheels already. At least we could move 
forward correcting sauraj thiraj tehirat chaka tehirat chaka okay no let us see tomorrow endeva shiv mandir light pole number 75 endeva road kunupya endeva shiv mandir today dashadoha chanting was done by anti shan vashti anti vashti uh, buche eh great and members of the saint helena sai center so i couldn't hear today but if pandit bisram said it was very good he is a first class ramayan chanter so if he said it very good that means it was very good hmm? all right let me tell a few announcements and then we will have prasad receiving and vote of thanks also please have a look at our book stall there are many nice little things that you can there's a nice t-shirt with hanuman ji in the front and there are t-shirts for children as well and so many wonderful titles that you can buy life and day the indian way art of contemplation what is this hanuman copy books to write see for children going to school instead of buying any ordinary we copy book is the mark twin part <laughs> at least he'll develop a love for hanuman ji journey into health your health your fingertips and all see that huh? okay now on 16th of april which is two days from now today is thursday saturday on saturday we have hanuman puja at the ashram for those who want to come and join please do so then on 30th of april which is at the end of the month we have the varsha pratipada sansad hindu new year and this year we are celebrating at the hindu prachad kendra and the verse which i just chanted today we are doing a phrase from that verse tyakto tishta parantapa hmm you drop this faint heartedness and rise up oh parantapa arjuna parantapa is a name for arjuna like that 30th of april 10 to 12 in the morning time huh? at the hindu prachad kendra please do join then on the 30th of may we have the chai san melan at the ashram many of you have come already i remember people from st helena coming chai san melan at the ashram tea party you, and you can come and try three different types of chai this year one is called kulhad chai in a clay pot it gives a different taste and another is called as kadak chai strong chai okay then uh in july we have the residential camp at the ashram come and stay in the ashram for 5 days you learn vedanta and ramayana and so many other things swami ishwaranand ji from los angeles will be joining us also for that camp so come and spend some time 5 days all right i think those are the announcements for there one of the satsang will be held at shakashakari also i don't think the boats have any more space But if you have a boat please come <laughs> I would like to call on our dear Mrs Hemraj to receive a small token of appreciation in 2017-18 we had done the whole ramayan verse by verse so here is a flash drive with that whole ramayan for you and the members of the St Helena Sai Center you all can listen share when driving and all you can put in your card deck and there we go thank you <laughs> i've known her such a long time okay we would like to call on ms kalauti sumeri singh to give a vote of thanks and then we will have aarti
I offer my most humble pranams at the lotus feet of our dearly beloved Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. Sai Ram, Sita Ram, Assalamu Alaikum, pleasant good night to all. How grateful and blessed we are to have been able to share this divine space with Swami Prakash Ananda. Your discourse tonight has certainly resonated in our hearts and minds. We thank you so much, Swami, for sharing this evening with us. May Swami continue to richly bless you. To the brahmacharis for their preparation and guidance in this evening's proceedings, we say thank you so much. To my sister Vashti, my brother Suring, and the musicians from the St. Helena Sai Center, Tulsi, Nandlal, and Uncle Matru, we say thank you for charging the atmosphere this evening in preparation for Swami's discourse by chanting the Dohas and the Chaupais. I say thank you to Sister Nirmala for lovingly preparing the meal for Swami to partake. We say thank you, Sister Nirmala, for the meal. Thank you to all you devotees for joining tonight with us in this beautiful evening. Without your presence, this could not have been the success it is. It is really wonderful to see so many of you. And Swami, before I take my leave, we do have a small presentation to make to you. And I will call my sister Sunita to make the presentation. This is on behalf of the members of the St. Helena Sai Center. We make this presentation. Meals has been prepared for all of you. Make sure and collect your meals before you leave. And when you leave for your respective homes, we wish you a very safe journey. Jai Sai Ram. Jai Sai Ram. Thank you. Aarti ke liye sab kare ho jaiye. Aarti Shri Ramayan ji ki kirti kalitalasi api ki. Aarti Shri Ramayan ji ki kirti kalitalasi api ki. Kavat Brahm. मादिक मुनि नारद पालमीक विज्ञान विसारद सुख सन खाद से शेरुसारद करनी पवन सुत की रतिनी आरती श्रीराम सब ग्रंथन को रस मुनि जन धन संतन को सर्वस सार अंश समत सब हे
कलिमल हरि विषय सखी की शुभ सिंगार मूर्ति जुबती हरन रोग भव मात सब विधि तुलसी आरती श्री राम मंगलम गरुरध्वज मंगल पुंदरी काक्ष मंगलायतनो हरि तमेव माता च पिता बंधु च सखा तमे विद्या द्रविण सर्व मम ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णात् पूर्णमुद्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्री गुरभ्यो नम हरि ओम बर रामचंद्र की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय बोल भाई सब संतन की जय श्री सत्य सनातन धर्म की जय भगवान 